Hello everyone and welcome to SN Gate Academy. So today's gate challenge question says figure shows a slender bar of area A and length L pinned to immovable supports. Find the rise in temperature to produce buckling of the bar. Put L is equal to 5 meter, alpha is equal to 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree centigrade. Area is 10 meter square and I is given as 12950.2 centimeter to the power 4. Okay, so just read this question carefully. Pause this video and solve it by yourself. Comment the answer in the comment box. And once you have got this answer, then start watching the video. Okay, so I hope you have solved this question. At least question solve. अगर नहीं भी होता है, तो at least you must be able to develop the approach. आपकी एक approach develop करने की habit हो, ये अपन हम हम इस series के through चाह रहे हैं. So at least try जरूर किया कीजिए, उसमें अपने mind को पूरी तरह से explore किया कीजिए इस तरह के questions में. However, ये question simple ही है. Okay, ध्यान से इसको पढ़ो. क्या बोल रहा है? We have got one slender bar of area. Area is given as 10 meter square. Okay, I is given as 12,950.2 centimeter rest power 4, length is given as 5 meter, okay, it is pinned to immovable supports, the supports are immovable and the type of joint is the pin joint, hinge joint you can say, you have to determine the rise in temperature to produce buckling of the bar, now how much temperature will be rise so that this bar will buckle, okay, buckling, okay, buckling means, ye is tarah se, buckle ho jana. this is known as buckling okay now how much the temperature should be rise so so that the bar will buckle now first of all let us understand how would this bar buckle temperature rise hone se ye bar buckling bar mein buckling kis tarah se hogi so because this is fixed to the uh, pinned to the fixed supports and if i am increasing the temperature agar na, and delta ki value agar main increase karna if i am increasing the temperature obviously this will tend to expand okay but because this is fixed to the pinned to the fixed support okay so this fixed support will not let this particular bar to expand okay then kya hoga tab ye isme ek compressive force lagana shuru karega this compressive force p will be acting here and because of this when this compressive force p when this load p becomes greater than the buckling load okay ye theory of columns mein aapne padha hoga jab ye force compressive force hum laga rahe hain when this force becomes greater than the buckling load then the then the you can say the slender rod or the, or the column buckles okay so jab ye p buckling load load ke equal hoga ya buckling load se zyada hoga then this particular bar will start buckling getting this not okay so karna kya hai simply we have to determine the value of this p ye p ki value humko dekhna hai kitni aayegi aur usko equate karna hai buckling load ke getting this one okay acha ye p ki value kitni hogi now this is the thermal this is a force developed because of the temperature increase okay thermal stress ke karan force develop ho raha hai and what is the value of thermal stress thermal stress ki value kitni hoti hai we know the value of thermal stress is what e alpha t e alpha delta you can say okay thermal stress ke hum questions kuch ek questions solve kiye bhi hai if you want you can refer those questions e alpha delta thermal stress ki value hoti hai okay so what will be the value of force so this will be equal to e alpha delta into area Okay, stress is what? Force per unit area. So into area मैंने किया तो ये P की value मिल गई. And this P should be equal to the buckling load. Okay, buckling load की value क्या होती है? This is nothing but pi square E I upon L square. That's it. Okay, बस इतना सा काम हमको करना है. You will get the answer. बस रख दो सारी values रख दो. So here E E will be cancelled out. Okay, alpha की value given है question में, which is 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 into डेल्टी विच वी हैव टू डेटरमाइन डेल्टी की वैल्यू निकालनी है ए की वैल्यू भी दी हुई है विच इज हाउ मच टेन मीटर स्क्वायर ओके एरिया जो है वो मीटर स्क्वायर में दिया है सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू विल हैव टू कन्वर्ट या चाहे तो इसको हम सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं गेटिंग दिस नॉट ओके सो ये क्या हो जाएगा दिस विल भी इक्वल टू टेन मीटर स्क्वायर वन मीटर इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इन टू हंड्रेड स्क्वायर Okay. This will be equal to pi square into i which is 12950.2 divided by length. Length is given as how much? Uh, 5 meter or you can say 500 centimeter. Okay. So all the dimensions we have converted in, uh, into centimeter. Okay. So from here we will get what? Now why we have convert, uh, uh, converted this to centimeter? Because we have given this area. Sorry, this is already centimeter as per 4. So we have converted this to centimeter and this to centimeter. Okay, now further from here you can determine the value of this delta which will be equal to 0.426 degree centigrade. So this much should be the increase in temperature. So answer should be 8. Getting this? So I think 
दिस वॉज अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड आई थिंक आप लोगों ने सबने सॉल्व भी कर लिया होगा थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट